So we prove this lemma, an upper bound of U, an upper bound U of a non-empty subset of R is supremum of S. It is in two part, if and only if, for all upside positive, there exist S in S such that U minus epsilon. So first we suppose U is the supremum, then we prove this part. So let U is supremum of S then by definition definition of supremum says for all S in S we have S is less than equal to U because it is upper bound, supremum is upper bound, so all S will less than U. And the second part, for all V less than U, we have some S in S such that S greater than U such that V less than S V less than S now we have to show this is the definition we have to show this part so first part is obvious because U is supremum so it is upper bound always S of S will less than U. Now the second part we need to prove this we need to prove we need to prove U minus epsilon less than S for or epsilon positive. Since we have by definition v less than u implies u minus v is positive take epsilon is equal to u minus v implies implies v is u minus epsilon. Now, by the second part of the definition, if v is less than u, then there exists some s in s such that S is greater than V. Now, if we place the value of V, which is U minus, so, so, we have this value, place V is equal to U minus epsilon less than S. So, this part is proved. We have to prove this part. Just by the second part of the definition, we can prove this. Now, we prove the second part. What is second part is saying? Second part is saying, if you is upper bound and we don't know whether it is supremum or not but this condition we have let 
U is upper bound of S and U minus epsilon less than S for or epsilon positive. We have this condition to prove U is supremum of S. This we have to prove. It is supremum. This thing is given. And it is upper bound. This is also given. So one thing, the first part, since U is upper bound of S therefore one thing for all S belong to S because it is upper bound so we have S always less than U because it is upper bound so all S will be lesser than U now the second part. The second part we need to prove that there exists V uh, uh, for all V less than U. What is the second part? Second part is for all V less than U there exists some S in S such that V less than S. This part we have to show. Now, second part given given from given u minus epsilon less than s take v is equal to u minus epsilon u minus epsilon implies because the subsidence is some positive number less than s therefore for all second part is proved for all v less than less than u we have some S in S such that V less than S from this. So this term is simple. Uh, you have to prove this term in two parts.